Hey everybody, welcome to Lego John's Neighborhood. This is where my kind of community friends and I can hang out, talk comics, and really just have a good time. As you can see, it's a it's an ever-growing neighborhood, and, and I'm I'm hoping to hang out with three of my special friends today. I'm trying to convince them about how good Marauders is, even though one of them can't even pronounce it. So come on with me, we'll take a little walk and see if we can find them. The new issues of Marauders have been really, really good. Some exciting twists are happening. I know what you're thinking, this whole city looks really great, but what is that? Well, this really unusual looking shack here at the end of the block, that's where my buddy Perry lives. Perry Comics, if you haven't started following him, you should really check it out. He makes some great videos, even if he's a little bit off. Let's go inside and see how he's doing. Hey, Perry, can I come in? Oh, Mr. John, come on in. Holy crap, Perry, what are you wearing? What? It's hot in here, man. I don't want to be sweating all crazy. Ain't nobody can see anything less than my jacket anyways. You like my new jacket? I don't think anybody's going to notice your jacket. All right, man, go get my swole on. Here we go. Gonna do arms and back today with the jabroni. And yo, you know what? This is your boy Rod coming at you. With that being said, I'm gonna go back and go live. You guys are interrupting my live show. Here I go. Ooh, yeah, big and strong. Here I go. Getting big, getting big, getting big, getting swole. Getting swole. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Mmm. You guys here talking about comic books? Uh, yeah, I just was hoping Perry would put some dang pants on. You guys love my jacket though, right? No. Hell no. Ah, fine, I'll put on some pants. Is that better? Actually, I wanted to talk to you guys about Marauders, this new book I'm reading. Not, nah, haven't read it. Doo Doo Water! Oh, that's that Mardours. I, uh, I, I I started reading it, but then I didn't read it. But I posted a review on it. All right, well, I, I guess that's it. You guys should just try reading Marauders. I mean, I know that, uh, Rod, it's probably a little early for you to catch up on Marauders, but uh, you should check it out. Edwin, not everything is due to water. And Perry, read your books, buddy. Everybody else, hey, read Marauders. It's been really good. Bye. Hey, guys. Well, I'm Dr. John. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm here to talk to you about a comic book. The day's comic book is... This one right here. Spider-Man by J.J. Abrams. What do you guys think? I know everybody's like, another Spider-Man, another Spider-Man. But no, not this time. This one's amazing. You should really check it out. Why do I recommend it? Well, I'll tell you right now. The best part about it is... Different kind of world, else world, something really cool and different. It's the son of Spider-Man. Now you're like, what? Son of Spider-Man? Yes, son of Spider-Man. The cool thing is he's fighting to help his dad. He's like going to save his dad and take over the mantle of Spider-Man. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm a doctor myself. I, I, I never really studied much on uh, Spider-Man and cloning or any of that stuff, but this is so cool. Uh, the, the, the good guys and bad guys are fine. There's some uh, great cameos from classic Marvel characters. You should really consider checking this out. Again, here it is. Gotta check it out. Spider-Man, I recommend it. All right, uh, now I'm gonna get out of here. Have a nice day. Hey everybody, today, I'm John, as always, I'm John's Call with Kids. And today we're going to be doing Double Trouble with Spider-Man Venom. Uh, I gave it to my girls. They said it was very good, very kid-friendly. So I'd recommend to give it to your children and read them if you have them. Uh, they can't say our hello right now, but if they could, they would. Okay, so this book is pretty good, kid friendly, like my kids say. And first, at first, it's about you know Spider-Man having his roommate be Venom, who very bad roommate, and he grows these plants that can kill people in their apartment. Not a very good roommate. And you get to meet, you have Spider Gwen, Gwen in this book, and. It's kind of all about how hard it would be to have Venom as a roommate. And in the end, you see Venom putting this machine on Spider-Man's head and you don't know what it is. So, I would recommend to trust your kids and get all the series.
and I would rate this 5 out of 5. Thank you for watching my show. Welcome back. Time for another John Hot Marvel take. This time we're talking about X-Men and the Fantastic Four. Why can't Reed Richards and Professor X get along? Ultimate future Reed Richards has the same taste in headwear. Is it possible they are bothered because of jealousy and a love for the same bad fashion taste? I think they should just and get it over with. This new comic rocks, but it needs more sweet, weird helmets. Hopefully soon we see an entire Marvel Universe with crappy metal condom hats. Check out X-Men and the Fantastic Four. Peace out, mother.